Let's have a look at an alternative way to pan sounds across the stereo field. Load a mono sound onto a stereo track in your door. As you pan the sound with the channel's pan control, there's a corresponding shift in the left and right levels. Panning it left raises the level of the left channel, and panning it right raises the level in the other. But there's another way to control the stereo position of a sound. In the real world, if a sound is on one side of us, we'll not only hear it louder in one ear, we'll hear it earlier too. This is the Haas effect, as discussed in part one of our Stereo Science Guide. Let's recreate this effect in our door. We're using Live 9 as its rack and macro system is highly suited to it. But the principles can be applied to any door. Drag an audio effect rack onto the channel. Show the rack's chain list with the middle of its three left hand buttons. We want two chains. Each is made by right clicking and selecting create chain. Name one chain left ear and panic fully left. Name the other right ear and panic fully right. Reduce each chain's level by 3 dB to compensate for having doubled the signal. Next, we need the delay plugin that can be set in increments of less than a millisecond, like Voxengo's sound delay. Add it to the left chain. Open the rack's macro controls with the top of its three left hand buttons. And click map to enter macro map mode. Tweak sound delay's 0.1 knob. Then click map on the first macro control. In the macro mappings panel, set its max value to 0.75. This gives us a maximum delay time of 0.7 milliseconds. Rename the macro knob Pan. Turning up this pan control moves the mono sound towards the right of the stereo stage. But no level changes have occurred. Our brain is being fooled just by the timing of the two stereo channels, not by their levels. This effect works best over headphones, but it's still valid over speakers, replicating a dual microphone recording configuration. Now copy the sound delay plugin to the rack's right ear chain. But swap its minimum and maximum values, so its min becomes 0.75, and its max is now 0. Now the macro works like a standard pan control, moving the sound from left to right and anywhere in between. With 63 as its central point. There'll still be a tiny delay when it's panned centrally, although this will be equal on each side. Be aware that when using the heart effect to pan a sound, it will introduce some comb filtering if the output is collapsed to mono which we can achieve by putting a utility plugin after the rack and reducing the width to zero. Here's the same thing applied to a white noise signal. Using an analyzer, we can see that the comb filtering creates some severe notches in the frequency spectrum. If you're concerned about the negative effects of comb filtering on your mix, fine tune the delay times while listening in mono to minimize these. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.